Okay, so I've made this animated character in OBS using one plugin. It's the Move Transition plugin. It can do a lot. It can do it can do a lot, a lot, a lot. But basically, I'm going to show you the capabilities of the Audio Move filter that is a part of this plugin. Okay, so I've set up a little scene here just so I can show you all the different things you can do with with the Audio Move filter. So if we go onto like our audio source, we got our mic input here. Click the dots, hit filters, and now when you're in here, you can just right click, hit add, audio move, hit OK, and you have a bunch of options here. At the top, we've got meter type, which is basically how it analyzes the audio. You'll kind of get a feel for these and how they work uh, just from experimenting. The one thing to note here is, is using input peak rather than just peak by itself. If you have filters on, on like, say your microphone, using input peak will mean that any sort of effects applied using this filter will be analyzing what goes in before like any compression or any weird audio effects you may have on your audio source. But yeah, easing is fairly straightforward. Basically like any other animation thing, sort of just smooths out the animation a bit. Um, and then actions, we'll get into those now. So I've set a few up here and I'll show you what I've done with these. So first off, we've got a transform action and, and this can be used to transform it, uh, you know, move it about. In this one, it's moving up and down or just up. Position Y is changed and I can change this to position X if I wanted. And now it's gonna be going like left to right, pretty easy. And I can change this number as well in here. I can invert it. So now he's going the other way, put the minus back on, he's going back that way. Maybe that's a bit hard to tell. But yeah, so you can see the factor here determines how much it's moving. So currently it's minus a thousand. I, I can invert that to a thousand and now he'll start moving down when I talk rather than moving up when I talk. Very straightforward. Next up, we've got a transform with scale. And so you can use scale as well. The one thing to note with audio scaling is the thing you're scaling, make sure you go on to transform edit transform or just hit control E and you'll notice here position alignment by default it scales from top left as you can see it's now scaling from this top corner rather than the middle of the image it's a bit weird so if you want it to scale from the middle make sure you change your position alignment to center next thing I've got here is a setting action and for this I've got a filter applied on the character which is color correction and I'm getting it to change the hue value of the color correction filter. And so as I'm talking, the little guy's changing color. And on this setting, I could get it to change to maybe brightness. And now he's going really bright when I talk. Maybe too, maybe too bright. Or maybe I want it to be opacity. And it can change opacity as I'm talking. And anything can work here with the setting. It basically adjusts a setting that's applied to, to the image. Okay, so the next one is filter enabling and disabling. So in here, you can basically get it to activate a certain filter over a threshold, disable it under, or the other way around. And you can see all the options here. I've got it for this one to set a blur when I'm not talking and turn off that blur when I am talking. And if I turn off that easing, you can see it's holding a little bit better as I'm talking. But if I turn the easing off, you can see it kind of jibs about. So this is a good example of why you need the easing. All right, last up, you can set the source visibility to turn on or off. The, the same as enabling or disabling a filter. You, you can have it for the, just the whole source. So now you can see if I'm not talking, it's not there. But as I am talking, it is there. Okay, so here I had a little character I've made, basically in lots of and lots of different layers. And I can animate all those layers individually. You can see in the scene, it's all grouped together. I can move them about all, all by himself. And that's because I have basically scenes within scenes within scenes. So I can kind of group together animations. So first off, if we go in, we can see this head is separate from the body which looks a bit weird when you pull it apart, but that means I can animate everything in this head together to rotate, but I can still have animation within the head itself. So if we go one deeper into the head now, you can see all this is rigged up. So the eyebrows are moving and the mouth is moving, but when it's pulled out one scene further, all those are set to rotate with a transform animation. Now, the way I've done this mouth is it's also in its own scene. We can see I've got all these images in here. Mouth one, two, three, four. Let me just turn on this blank card so we can see it a bit better. 
And so in the filters on my mic, you can see we've got mouth two, three, and four. And these are basically just set to source visibility. And each one is set to a different threshold. So if I just turn off all these filters for now, we can see mouth one, little smile, mouth two, slightly bigger mouth, overlaps over the first mouth. Mouth three, bigger again, covers up the second mouth. And mouth four, biggest of all, and it covers all of them again. And this filter basically gets them to enable, as I get louder, at different thresholds. Now, the reason I put the mouth in its own scene by itself, if we go back into the head, again, it's what I talked about earlier, it's grouping together animations. I've got the scene, the whole scene to transform within the head scene. So you can see here, mouth scale, I've got the mouth to scale up as I'm talking as well. And it's adding a little bit, slight more animation. I'm gonna make it a bit more obvious. Factor up, you can see, it gets real big. It gets real big if I start talking too much. So yeah, pretty versatile plugin. You can use it for a lot more than just character animation. You can do it. You can do a lot of things. You can tie it to music, animate stuff to music. You could tie it to gameplay audio. Do what you want. Um, I'm a go. 